This video provides instructions on how to update the firmware on an HP LaserJet Enterprise Printer, or MFP, using the Embedded Web Server, or EWS. If you are not sure if a firmware update is right for your LaserJet printer, check with your system administrator first. These instructions work for many enterprise printers, and the steps will vary slightly depending on the printer configuration and security settings in the Embedded Web Server, or EWS. This is a four-step process that requires you to print a configuration page, download the firmware to the computer, update the firmware from the Embedded Web Server, or EWS, and then verify the firmware update was successful. This procedure requires a network connection and access to the printer's EWS. If the EWS is not available or is password protected, contact your system administrator. To access the EWS, you will need the printer's IP address or host name. To obtain the printer's IP address or host name, print a configuration page from the control panel. If you know your printer's IP address or host name, you can skip this step. The steps to print a configuration page vary slightly depending on the type of control panel. For standard four-line displays, shown left, use the arrow keys to scroll and press OK to select. Before heading ahead, into the video in case you are facing any issue with your HP printer device, get in touch with our HP printer expert. For touchscreen displays, shown right, use the scroll bar to scroll and touch the option to select. On the control panel, scroll to and select Administration. Note, if the Administration menu is not available or is password protected, contact your system administrator. Select Reports. Select Configuration Status Pages. Scroll to and select Configuration Page. On a four-line display, scroll up and then select Print. On a touchscreen display, select Print. Set aside the printed page. You will reference this later. Next, download the firmware from the HP Support website and save it on your computer. Go to www.hp.com forward slash go forward slash support. Click Drivers and Downloads. Type the HP LaserJet Enterprise printer name or number in the search box and click Go. Select the model from the list of search results. Select the preferred driver language, scroll to the bottom of the page, and then select the Cross Operating System, BIOS, Firmware, Diagnostics, etc. option. Under the Firmware section, find the firmware file for Multiple Operating Systems. Click Download and click Save As. Note, depending on the browser type and version, this step might vary. Browse to the location where you want to save the file. You should select a destination that will be easy to remember, such as the desktop. Click Save. Keep the HP download page open. You will reference this later. Now, update the firmware from the EWS. On the configuration page you printed previously, locate the printer's IP address or host name. Open a new tab in the web browser. Type the printer's IP address or host name in the address field, exactly as it appears on the configuration page, and then press Enter to open the EWS. If you receive a security certificate warning, click Continue to this website. Note, you might be prompted to log in using an administrator password set previously. If you do not know the password, contact your system administrator. Make sure the printer is in a ready state. If the printer is in an error state, resolve the error before proceeding. Click the General tab. In the left pane, click the Firmware Upgrade. Before heading ahead, into the video in case you are facing any issue with your HP printer device, get in touch with our HP printer expert. Option. 
Compare the firmware date code on the firmware upgrade page in the EWS with the current version date of the firmware file on the HP download page to make sure that a firmware update is necessary. If the firmware date on the HP download page and the firmware upgrade page in the EWS is the same, your printer firmware is up to date and you do not need to continue. If the firmware date code on the firmware upgrade page in the EWS is earlier than the date listed on the current version on the HP download page, continue with the firmware update process. On the firmware upgrade page, under Install New Firmware, click Browse. Navigate to the location where you saved the firmware file, right-click the zip, and then extract all files. After the files extract, a firmware file name with a BDL extension is listed inside the extracted folder. This is the file required to perform the firmware update. Select the BDL or bundle file and click Open. If the install button is grayed out or not available, contact your system administrator and request that they set an administrator password. Click Install and do not close the EWS or browser window until the update is complete. Wait for the firmware update to finish. This process can take up to 10 minutes or more. Do not interrupt the process by unplugging, disconnecting, or turning off the printer. Doing so can damage the printer. When the EWS confirmation message displays, Click Restart Now and wait for the printer to reboot and re-establish a network connection with the EWS. This can take several minutes. After waiting several minutes, click the Information tab. You might need to refresh the browser screen a few times. If the printer does not automatically reboot or re-establish a network connection with the EWS, then turn the printer off and then on again. After the printer returns to a ready state, click the Information tab and verify the printer shows Ready. Now verify that the firmware update was successful. Click the General tab and click Firmware Upgrade to view the firmware version. Compare the firmware date code on the firmware upgrade page with the current version date on the download page at hp.com. If the dates match, then the update was successful. It is now safe to close the EWS. You can find more helpful videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our videos. And in the case face any problem get in touch with the experts.